What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I know it's been quite some time since I've uploaded, but that is because I am not a stock trading guru. I have a real job, a real life, and uh, I don't rely on YouTube for income. But by popular demand, I know you guys have been asking for a lot of videos explaining my trades, my thought process, and my thesis behind my trades. So that is what this video is all about. I'm going to be doing a lot more trade reviews and I want to start just documenting my journey as a trader along the process. Um, so this is for my best month of June, as you'll see here in Tradezilla, $25,000 in net profit for the month. And I want to go over some of the trades that resulted in the biggest gains for my account. But also at the same time, I want to show you my losses too. Not a lot of people do that. And uh, it's definitely been an up and down journey for me uh, this year. This is my first year of me taking this seriously, I guess you could say, and treating it as a second income. Even though if this didn't provide me income, I would still do it for fun. I love trading and that's why I want to document this process with you guys. So subscribe because I've got a hell of a lot more videos coming down the uh, down the highway. So without further ado, guys, the third, uh, the second day of June, you'll notice 3.29K in gains. Uh, that is from my first trade on the uh, ticker snow. Go watch my previous video on that. It'll highlight everything you need to know there. But let's jump right into uh, June 9th. You'll notice I had a decent drawdown all week and then had a nice recovery to uh, you know bring me back a little bit. But uh, let's jump right on into it. You'll see a 53% gain on the Tesla calls. So we've got the, uh, the chart pulled up right here. I'm gonna just wanna zoom out. We had a nice gap up in the morning as you guys will see from pre-market. But uh, this is where I essentially had a bulk of the move. I just want to zoom in so you guys can see this as best as possible. So the green arrows represent where I got filled, obviously. And then the red arrow is going to represent where I fully got out of the trade. So you'll notice pretty uh, decent drawdown in the morning. We had a nice basing candle here. And this confirmed the direction for the rest of the day, or at least my trading uh, thesis and session that I was going to be locked in. I do not like to trade more than the first 20 minutes, let alone the first hour to two hours of the market open. So I got filled right here at 10 contracts at $3.30 and then an additional five at $3.40. Arguably not the best fill uh, for these calls, but as you can see where we sold, it did work out in my favor. So we had a decent, you know, draw up through this zone, which was what I was watching. And we were consistently making higher high, I mean, higher lows here. The highs kind of stalled out, but we really held this range, which made me, you know, confident that this was going to work out. You'll notice, I want to say right from this candle, right straight through the bases here. Generally, if you follow that dotted line around the 247 price range, we held that and we had strong demand where the buyers just kept pushing these candles up. And you'll see that I want to draw these lines here as best I can. So we'll draw a horizontal line here. You'll notice right at the basing of this candle all the way through, we have a nice uh, support zone. So this pushed up and now you'll notice Probably should have exited here for a small gain just to play it safe. But as I took the draw down and as I was <laughs> sweating as this trade went on, we held this zone one, two, three, four, five, you know, for a majority of the morning for the first half hour. And then buyers really started to step in here and push up. So once I saw this candle, I knew that this trade was going to start going backwards on me. So that is where I started to scale out, exited the full 15 contracts at five dollars and 14 cents and then as we went on for the rest of the morning here once i saw this red hammer candle which is something that i really want to point out once saw this i knew for sure that um this was going to start going the other way which it did so we got out at the right time we let price and we let a uh, volume determine our trades for that uh so for that trade so uh, total invested was roughly five grand to make 2,753% return uh, for a total uh, you know, gain of 2690 uh, for that Friday. So definitely not a bad trade in my opinion. I know some people are going to have their own opinions and that's fine. But for me, that's how I approach this trade. Let's jump into the next trade. It took off Friday the 16th. Monday the 19th was a, was a holiday, so the markets were closed. But 
smaller losses within this range, which is what I wanted to see. Smaller gains here too, kind of a reset. Just played small, get back into that groove and uh, build from there. So let's go to June 20th, 4.92K in gains total. Took a loss on the calls and you're gonna see why I got short here at this uh, at this entire trade. So total for um, $3,000 return. And then once the, uh, once the chart loads here, you'll see everything I was thinking of for these trades. So total of 38 short op, you know, put options traded. And why I got short was because I tried chasing the longs here, didn't work out, got bad fills. But you'll notice the green arrows right here and right here represent where I got short. But what matters is everything that happened before that. So failed to break above 438 in this general area. I should have gotten short here with this red hammer did not came back down based had nice push back up but you'll notice here the volume wasn't too too crazy and the the bodies on these candles were kind of freaking me out a little bit did not get short or uh, i was glad i did not get short up here where i thought it did came back up but notice we made a higher uh, a lower high we did not even get up to that 438 14 we got up to 438.05. That next candle, guys, I love the red hammer candles that you'll see right here where my cursor is. These red hammer candles are a clear indicator for me of where I like to get short. And uh, you'll see as we came through, I definitely should have gotten short right there. However, I did not. I let the trade come to me in this situation. We had a drawdown. Sellers really in control. Came back up. Failed to have some sort of a rally. We couldn't even get above these two candles here at 437. So we failed to rally right here. Had a nice wick down, a strong seller's body. And then I got short 30 contracts, pushed down, added into the position right here at uh, 60 cents. And then we sold the entire position at about 135 to 134. So how can we recap this? We fa failed to break above 438. We had a drawdown somewhat of a rally, a lower high in that 438 range, 438.05. This red hammer candle, although not always a telltale indicator, really told me that we had to get short. Came up, came up. The volume really came in for sellers that you'll see on the bottom. Once this trade was confirmed for me where I knew the trend was happening for the rest of the day, we got short and then had a nice fill for you know 135 on the exit. So risked about two grand on this trade for a total exit of 3,100. And that was the June 20th trade. That was a nice gain to really put me back into the groove for June. Now let's jump into a trade that had a good return, but I am not happy about it. In my opinion, it was not a good trade. And that was on the 23rd of June. So a 66% return, but you're gonna see why I wasn't a fan of this trade. So you'll notice here, all of the arrows represent my fills. Um, and this was to the long side. I played 70 contracts uh, long. So just, you could tell that this was not a good trade. So I had the market open here, had a nice push up, got long, long at the absolute wrong times. I should have been as I look for the proper indicators here, but I should have been long right here. That's where I should have gotten long. However, I got filled at the top. And one thing I've been working on is getting filled and not chasing these trades. So you'll see I was adding in contracts here, very small amounts, five, 10 contracts as the market was climbing. So at this point, I'm pretty much negative as we came up into this spot. But as we started to sell off and pull back down, I 100% should have sold somewhere in this area to make this trade break even and just move on. But I held through it. Again, not a good trade, but it worked out. I got lucky. So I should have sold here. However, what you'll notice is as I draw a trend line from pretty much as we establish this range here to here, you'll see that we had strong support from buyers. So as we sold off, we consolidated here, pushed back up, sold off, had a higher low, which was nice, but came up, sold off for a lower low, but it respected this level. My whole plan was that if it got below these opening prints down here in this area, I was out for a loss. I'll take that. And I mean, of course, we have with Theta, 
I'm keeping all these things in mind because I'm losing my ass on this trade. As we see strong buyers start to come back in, I added in for 10 more contracts here, which was a terrible fill. I should have been buying down here to push this up and have a better fill. But the market rallied along and then as the day went on, exited all 70 contracts for $1.10, but got filled at 50 cents here, 70 cents, 50 cents, 67. You can see how this is not a good trade, but we respected this and we had a strong push up where we were making higher, uh, higher lows all the way up. We consolidated up here for yet another push and this is where I got out because as we approached that 435, I was like, this is done. I'm out of this trade. No, thank you. Um, but that's what allowed me to stay in was seeing this here and here. Boom, boom, supported it, supported this here too. Um, so I'll take that as much as I can. Again, I think I got lucky because look at the sell off here if I decided to hold, right? Not a good trade, but it was a $3,000 gain. And in this market, a win is a win. So all of that brings us into the last week of June. So 4K in gains, 3K in gains, 4K. So we'll start Tuesday and then we'll just cover the remainder of the week in terms of trades. So 93% returns on these calls. And as again, as you could tell by these trades right here, guys, I was chasing. This is something that I truly need to work on. Even though at this time, I had a decent amount of money in my account to bury the bad trades. This is an awful habit. Um, this is just me just being fully transparent with you guys. But let's jump into the winning trade. As you can tell, we had a clear run up. So I was getting filled right about here for $0.70 cents on average for all these contracts. Uh, $0.80 cents here, $0.74, $0.70. And then I exited the entire position up here at 11.56 for a dollar 45. So, although I risked roughly six grand to make almost six grand, again, not exactly the best in terms of a trade. But here's what I was thinking. And as I pull up these trend lines, just pull up a horizontal line here. You'll notice this area of confluence, opening print, straight through, came up, boom. Boom, had a decent amount of support the entire day, but we were trapped within this range. And you'll notice pretty much from here to here, we really couldn't break above that. We were trapped, trapped. I probably should have exited here after before the sell-off, but got lucky and had a nice push up the rest of the day. The only reason why I stayed in this trade is because you will notice we were making higher lows the entire day. So we were bullish on the day, which makes me happy. And that's why I stayed in this trade, even though there was a considerable amount, considerable amount of selling pressures really holding this down. It was right about here that as we came up retested, normally every time you retest the price zone, it gets weaker. So we tested the 433 twice and you'll see, man, it sold off, but then it rallied and came back up and pushed through it. So that's what made me stay in this trade was that as we pushed through it, we were able to get out up top. Again, not the best trade in terms of risk or holding it, but it is what it is, and I'll take that. So looking at this trade, we had a gap down, and it held this entire level, which is absolutely perfect. As you can see, we hold this level here, which was the 434.86 area, which is absolutely perfect. So if you follow this, we came down, we held that, and then I get long up here. And as we start to push up, nothing really too crazy. I add in right here, and then I sell up at the top for all my contracts for $1.03. Not the best fills, 50 cents and 60 cents, but let's walk through the exact strategy that I was looking at and what I was thinking. So again, we held this off the morning, which was perfect. So came up, boom. So we knew that buyers were really defending this area. We had to push up, which is why I bought in. Made a So... Here, we make a higher low. And then up here, we're still making these higher lows. And then what I liked was that as we came here, this candle grabs a boatload of liquidity and then we rock it up. So that was my confirmation to stay in this and keep moving. So we had three things happen. One, we held the, we held the lows off the open, which was fantastic. Then we started making higher lows. Buyers push through. And then we make this high up here, which pretty much fills the gap from the gap down. And that's where I got out. 
So that's how I was approaching this trade. And then we start to round out the uh, month after this. Alrighty, so let's look at the last trade. This one we're not gonna cover. This was a more sizable gain. So we had nice gains all around with some trims, but let's talk about the biggest one, which was for 3,000. So 90 contracts total. And of course the green arrows represent where I got in. So I got in later in the day here. And this was probably somewhat of a FOMO trade if I had to guess. So, and I can't remember, but I mean, I got in super late at 11 o'clock. I may have had an appointment or something. So sized in way too heavy, should not have even taken this trade, to be honest, shouldn't have traded at all. But uh, what, what we'll notice here, guys, we held this 437 yet again. So it came up, boom, based out, pushed up, and then I get out up here for $1.34. My fills were for $1.06. So again, not the best trade. And this is what I'm working on is getting better at my entries and exits. So... I don't remember too much about this day, whether I had other work appointments or one, if I was just trying to catch a late move, which I probably was. But thankfully, we were in an uptrend for majority of the morning, and I caught that pretty, pretty much before the afternoon had a rough little sell-off, but got that remainder of the morning strength and push up because we held this zone and then we pushed. I would have had to stop out down here, but again, as theta goes on, it starts to kill us. So Guys, that is my review for 25K for the month of June. I'm going to do other recaps as well. If you stuck around this long, thanks for that. And uh, be sure to subscribe. I got a boatload more videos coming. I want to do a little bit more instructional stuff, a little bit more deeper dives into uh, how I approach trades, do some live trading as well. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.